Welcome to the celebrated nightly news of Calaveras County. My name is John. And I'm Kim. And I sound a little froggy still, but like I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a little, a little better than I was last yes, night. He finally went to the store and got some medicine to take. He's been taking aspirin for the last week, and I said aspirin is not going to make you feel any better. He's yeah, very stubborn. I'm, when it comes to being sick and taking I'm very medication. stubborn and old school. Yes. So I don't want to take any medication. aspirin is the worst thing. I, I said, you need to go get some flu medication at the store. What happened today? You finally went and got some, and what happened? You feel better. See, I was actually, you know, for somebody who dabbles in high-tech stuff, I'm decidedly old-fashioned yes. because I don't want to take any medication. Except for aspirin. Is, no, that is newer than 100 years old, <laughs> right? Isn't that... Uh... And aspirin is dangerous to take with a fever, I tried to tell you. Oh. But. Don't listen to me. It had to be, come, from, come from a friend's mouth before you listen to me. Well, I always get a fever when I'm sitting next to you. Is that... <laughs> oh, God. Huh? That doesn't... Okay, anyway, okay, he's right, feeling a little mind. better. He's taken some of his whatever you took, flu whatever oh, tablets. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. So he's feeling a little better. All right. At least for the next couple of hours. Now, we just had an eclipse. Did we did. Did we miss it? It was a... <laughs> They had over. They were inviting the public to Columbia College this evening to watch the eclipse. You could bring your cameras and tripods mm -hmm. and. So what time did it happen? Do you know? But with the cloud cover, I'm uh, not okay. sure. Okay. So not, not sure if you were able to see it. Either. Yeah. Oh, okay. Remember last year we tried to go out and watch it, and there were too many trees we couldn't see it. Remember that? We were standing outside for our. That's set. right. Remember we tried to do That's that. That's right. Too many trees, so we couldn't see it. So we anyway, we, it, we were yeah. supposed to have an eclipse tonight between five and eight p.m. And so I guess that's already happened, right? Okay. And also, um, there was a Cities of Angels Camp council meeting last there night. Was. There was. Hang on just one second. What? We, They're freezing on TV. Okay. All right. There was a City of Angels Camp council meeting last night. They actually, it was such a special meeting. They held it at the Bret Hart Theater versus the Firehouse in Angels Camp where they normally hold it. And they had plans to um, actually appoint a, the new planning commissioner for Angels Camp last night, but I guess both applicants were out of town, so they decided to postpone this for March 4th. But I believe one of the big reasons they were holding the meeting at the Bret Hart Angels Camp Theater, the Bret Hart Theater in Angels Camp, was to allow the um, Kindness Hero essay winners read their essays to the audience. And basically, Mark Twain... Um, Unified School District, which includes Copperopolis and Mark Twain Elementary. Yeah. Um, actually, I think Michelson wrote some, too. I'm not sure on that. He probably but, did. Um, wrote what's called Kindness Hero Essays, and basically writing an essay about who their hero was and, yeah. why, and why they elected them to be their heroes because of a, a reason for kindness, obviously. Um, so they, they were able to read those last night. And let me see. We have the winners here. The Copper School winners are Sydney Clark, Trisha, Trisha Welch, Susie DeSimone, Francisco Munez, Madison Lewis, and Michael Leggy. Those are of Copperopolis. And then the, all of the winners, let me see here. The to let me see. Somebody else sent me an email this morning, so I made sure I included all of okay. the winners. And we have some nice pictures here of... The actual essay winners, they went out to the Foothill. The Foothill, that was very, some know, very foothill, precious. Foothill community. Reading, yeah, reading, yeah, the, reading the Foothill, the um, what's that called? Foothill Village yeah. home. And they read their essays to the residents out there. Here is a list of all the winners. Um, Kim, Kimberly Thorson, James, let me see, Kimberly Thorson by Michael Legg, James Michael Shevin by Chris, Chrissy Shevlin, Marnie Mursado by Trisha, Trisha Welsh, Elizabeth Bailey by Stephanie Randall, Charmin De Simone by Susie De Simone, Marilyn Baxley to Edward Santos, Michaela Mulison, excuse me, but some of these names are just hard to pronounce, <laughs> by Madison Lewis, Susan Middleton by Kent Whittle, Laura Ferreira by Kenzie Sigali, Francisco Munez by, Fran by Francisco Munez, oh, it must be son and father, ah. Tammy London by Sydney Clark. See, this is the person that wrote it, and this is who their hero is. Uh -huh. Okay, so Heath Lane by Jay Praster, Tasha Westberg by Julia Rorabaugh, Dick Elliott by Ernie Francesca. Oh, there's Ernie. Yeah. He's Ranger School. Um, Sean Westberg by Andre Michaels, Alex Hammond by Samuel Jan Janofsky, and Rex Whittle by Colton Atkinson. 
So they were the winners, winners of this year's Kindness Hero Essay Contest. So they read those last night also at the City Council meeting. Very nice. So we will hopefully have a plant, new planning commissioner next at the next meeting announced okay. March 4th. Um, See, I feel very lucky now if she lets me talk at all. She well, just, I knew you had a problem over there with the computer, so I was <laughs> trying joking. to help. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> I was trying to help. No, isn't it nice? She's real. you know, she's dumping, you know. No, I was trying to help because I, I knew you were trying, you, were, you had a glitch course. you were trying to overcome. We over were, uh, we were told that we were having some glitches on cable and we had some freezing, so from, we're hopefully from we got you. our little 10-year-old producer. Yes, our off-camera off <laughs> producer, so hopefully we got you uh, cleaned up and rolling there. Uh, yes. And I was going to say who the um, appointees were for the, I could find that. Go ahead. All right. We'll talk about something else. And oh, here, oh, here, here, here are the appointees. Let me see for planning commissioner. Two applicants: Bob Maneri and Harry Pitts. Pitts. How do you say that? And Henry Pettahome. Pettahome. Mr. Minari has lived in Angels Camp for two years, and Mr. Pettahome grew up in Angels Camp. Ah. So those are the two um, appointees for planning commissioner. All right. Um, and also, in a um, upcoming this weekend, we just got John's this, favorite annual events. The belly dancers will be back, right? Belly dancers are now, back in I guess town. Now with the burlesque and then the belly dancers, yes. we're doing, I mean, the Black Bart Playhouse is becoming the place to yes, be, they right? Are. It yes, is, uh, yes. And this, this is an event for all ages, it says. It is. All right. The ever so popular <laughs> belly dancers are back in town for the Murphy's Belly Dance Festival this Saturday. February 23rd at 7.30 p.m. The Murphy's Belly Dance Festival features some of Northern California's best belly dancers. Yes. It is located in beautiful Murphy's, the Black Bart Playhouse. So, You know, I actually went to their website and I wanted to grab a, I to grab a picture off of their website to put on yeah. the article. And it was hard to find one that wasn't, wasn't a little risque. This was actually the least risqueest picture that I could find. There were we more than bellies dancing. That we have. There. Yeah. Yes, there, there were, were more than bellies this dancing. Is, this is there. actually one of the better, or the ones that don't show a yeah. lot. So, so I try to be as conservative as possible on that one. <laughs> so more uh, Murphy's uh, belly dancing. So are you going to go watch the belly dancers on Saturday night? I have a funny feeling that if I went and watched that, I, I might care. as well just stay out <laughs> because I probably wouldn't I'll, want to. I'll, 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 probably... be, I'll, be, I'll be at the trivia beat. We'll watch the belly dancers. How about that? Is that a, that's not a fair trade-off? I don't care. All right. Anyway. <laughs> also, we have a lot of talk on the Wally World approaching Angel's Camp. Yes. Last week, there was a workshop held in Angel's Camp on just basically a discussion how the City of Angel's Camp, I guess the City of Angel's Camp was approached, approached by Walmart, Walmart, and they're only considering putting one in Angel's Camp. Well, in, probably because within any the other, city any limits, other, because any they other could, city in Calaveras yeah. County, well, yes. It's the only incorporated city, so that way they would only have to technically get approval and deal with the city rather than yes. the county as well. So we have a, this week's poll is how do you feel about Walmart approaching Angel's Camp? And so far, not everybody's I think happy. it's a bad idea is winning. Yes. <laughs> And a lot of the reasoning being is because the, the tax money will go just to the city of Angels Camp versus Calaveras County. Right. So, uh, but a lot of people would actually say they'd rather have a Target than a Walmart. So, anyway. But I think, isn't that, we don't always have our choice, right? No, we Because don't. the companies that want to uh, move in here, I mean, it's up to them. I mean, mm -hmm. we can't... Uh, one of, one of the comments is, Calaveras County needs a source of income. More homes and golf courses are not the answer. I'm tired of spending my money in Wallamy County and in the Valley for everyday items. It doesn't have to be Walmart, Target, Mervyn's, or Kohl's would be acceptable. Let's get a good source of income for our infrastructure. And some people are saying they'd like to rather see small businesses come in, not the big box businesses come in. Um, small businesses and enterprises bring families in, builds a solid purchasing and merchandising base. Lots of revenue from businesses and homeowners supports infrastructure improvement like Wi-Fi roads and public safety. Some, some good comments. Some yes. And, um, Wal Walmart, they saying is ha they offer low wages, throwaway merchandise. Like is everything we buy is throwaway merchandise. Oh. <laughs> That's well, we don't always go there, but once in a while. All right. Anyway, I'm you tired of me yakking. Not at all. You, you seem. You no. Seem like <laughs> no, not at all. I was trying to help. There's been some live. Well. There's been some lively debate on that. 
Yes, there has been. So we'll see what happens in the long run, if they actually will do it or not or whatever. And I know we try to stay pretty close to Calabarus County News specifically, mm -hmm. but what? There was a trailer fire. fire. Oh, sorry. Yes, okay. I want right. to t stay on local You're right. News stay first. on local. Yes, there we go. That's the way we need to do it. Stay on topic. <laughs> I'll go national a little bit. <laughs> there was a trailer fire, fire on Tuesday on Jesus Maria Road in Mountain Ranch. The cause of the fire is under investigation. It was a fifth wheel trailer involved, which is a to which which is that basically a total loss. Dollar da dollar estimated damages are eight thousand dollars. All right. <laughs> it snowed in Arnold today. Yes, there was <laughs> snow in Arnold today. <laughs> we had some snow in a little, Arnold today. A few today. flurries. Yes, a few flurries, and then it, now it's. Pretty clear, kind yep. of rainy a little it bit. Is. Chains are not required. At I know this you're just time, dying to move to National no, News. I can not see at all. it. No, I I'm can fine. feel it. No, I'm fine. Valacito Union School District held a board meeting this afternoon. Was it was it a closed session? The highlight it started of that? off with the closed session. Yes. That's always a rouse, That's always a rousing yes. way to get a Which meeting means there's started. There's going to be some sort of. Um, employment dismissal or something but like that. But I think people, correct? I think boards do this on purpose because if you really want to quiet down the crowd. Mm -hmm. Start off with a closed yes, session. Exactly. That way, you know, it really puts a lid on all the excitement, right? <laughs> yes. Anyway, <laughs> all right. The Howling Nights Food and Wine Tour that was scheduled yes. for tomorrow night has been canceled. It has because of the snow. It looks like they will have mm -hmm. um, a 70 or 80 percent chance of snow. Mm -hmm. So if you are trying to howl at the moon, yeah, that actually sounds like a lot of fun. They're if having another one. They have another one scheduled though, for March. For March, but if they wanted to, if you're going to howl at the moon, they wanted you actually to be able to see the moon. See the moon, and, and there is so, a chance of heavy snow. Heavy snow this weekend. So yeah. they had to, that was scheduled for tomorrow night, and they had to cancel that. Will we? Will they have another one coming up in um, in March? In March, yes. I know you want to go to National News. Have at it. If you want to go. <laughs> no, I just We've wanted to say. Minutes. You I just wanted to say it was there's a little. I mean, these national races for uh, are getting really interesting. And I guess the Obama mania is really sweeping everything because one of the uh, one of the top things on this is even blowing his nose, Obama gets applause. <laughs> so you know you're really running the. Are camp. you kidding me? No, and um, you know now the talking heads and the pundits are going. You know now it's like Wolf Blitzer is saying don't count out Hillary. Uh, you know the the. The deficit that she's in on the delegate, it really, it looks like, uh, you know, really looks, it isn't looking good for Hillary right now. But What's it's, it saying uh, about McCain there? Well, now that it looks like that everybody wanted McCain, you know, a lot of the uh, mainstream press wanted McCain to secure the nomination. Uh, now the interesting thing is now that he's secured the nomination, now everybody's going to start attacking him. Yes, of course. There. So there's, there's a whole kinds piece of in the New York McCain, Times. Right? Um, for McCain, self-confidence on ethics poses its own risks, and now they're going to go after all the, uh, all the stuff in his, uh, you know, all the stuff in his closet. Mm -hmm. Here's one here on a potential affair. They're the uh -oh. saying that he had. Uh, they're both uh, both parties are saying they never had a row. Um, when when was that supposedly? When did that supposedly oh, let's take see. place? McCain, 71, and lobbyist Vicky Eisman, 40, both say they never had a romantic relationship. But to his advisors, even the appearance of a close bond with a lobbyist whose clients often had business before the Senate committee uh, threatened the story. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically he's all this stuff is. Yeah, he's 71. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know that. Yeah, no. you didn't know that? No, he doesn't look 71. Yeah, I see all that time in captivity in a prisoner of war camp keeps you that keeps you. And uh, how old is his wife? Is she young? I don't know. Oh, I'm just curious. That seems awfully know. young to go be going after a gal thirty years younger. Well, also I think with this one on the this one I just wanted to pull is it's the easy thing on Obama. Even blowing his nose, Obama gets applause. It's probably safe to say that when you have arrived as a politician, when your audience applauds, when you blow your nose. <laughs> yes, just a day before a debate in Texas, Senator Barack Obama has a head cold, and about a half an hour into the speech, huh? Uh, the Illinois Democrat announced that he had to take a quick break. Gotta blow my nose here for a second, Obama said. Out came a Kleenex, but perhaps it was a hanky. And he wiped his nose. The near capacity audience at the reunion arena, which his campaign said totaled 17,000, broke out in a slightly awkward applause. Wow. So, so you know you're doing well. well 
when you can blow your nose and get applause. Wow. So that is pretty good, I would say. I would say so, too. Yeah. You know you're on a roll. <laughs> 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 and this weekend, um, Bear Valley, I'm going to go back to some local news yeah. for a moment. Bear Valley has an event going on, actually, all day Saturday, Party yeah, Life. It's stuff. 1988 at Bear Valley this weekend. Which means so, I just go like I normally yeah, dress. Yeah, like you, you can the... wear some of your lovely attire that you <laughs> on the slopes. Probably win first prize. Come party up at Bear Valley this Saturday. The entire entire day will be totally rad retro 80s day. Retro 80s, start, man. Start the day off with a sick and sick and twisted slope style competition or go and shred shred the gnar is that what that is gnar g-n-a-r gnar in your favorite 80s gear great <laughs> they'll party like it's 1988 swing by the sun deck at noon for a best dress contest and a chance to win some sweet swag so everybody's going to wear their jeans with their exactly and then the party continues after that into bear valley village from 6 to 9 p.m i actually have fond memories of uh Women's skiing attire from the eighties. Oh, I bet you do. You like you those know, the pants. spandex? Yes, you know, you the, lie, uh, you told you know me the, that. You yeah, wish those were back in style. Hey, you yeah, see, hey, you see a few ladies out there wearing those, and they look slightly out of place. <laughs> yes, I have to say, you like... know, even though you know, maybe it was like, wow, maybe the time warp is okay. not a good thing. They probably but... have had the same pants for twenty years, and they still fit in them, right? Right. We have a friend, a guy that wears those from Sweden, right? Our friend. <laughs> I'm gonna go there. <laughs> His wife, he had that. Did you know he had that pair of pants for years? The, yeah. Not 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 yeah. the current pair that he yeah. has now, but it's the only kind he'll wear. He's he's originally from Sweden, right? He's Swedish, correct? Yes, he's an excellent very good skier. skier. Very His, good skier. His old pair, you know, wore out, so yeah. she looked high and low. Yes, huh? for another pair of pants like these, and they are quite expensive. And she wow. found them, so now he's got his, his little so tight black the pants. Good, yes. Good set. Yes. Yes. So anyway, the party continue, continues in Bear Valley Village from 6 to 9. I'm going to dig will, out my gators. Where they will give thanks for an awesome season so far and dance the night away I, with live DJ and Red Bull mixed drinks in the snow bar. So I'm going to get out my gators. Must be 21 or years or older to enter the snow bar. Now, I don't know what this, this means. It's going to be an outdoor party? The snow bar. I don't know what this means. Wow. It, may, it says bonfire. Yes, snow Very bar. Very cool. So I guess it's going to be an outdoor party at the Bear Valley Village. So you go skiing all day and then head over to the village and, and party hardy right? till 9, 9 p.m. Nice. <laughs> and then maybe go for, go over for some karaoke or something. Karaoke. <laughs> Very nice. And that's a Saturday. So they have a slope style, another slope style event, which we had a couple weeks ago. And, that. and they've got um, they got some new snow today. I bet didn't new they? snow today, mm -hmm. and also where they put, set up the slope styles. Now you can watch it from the lodge, so you can go yeah, up and watch it. They have the them. terrain park right in front now. So yeah, you can watch it from the lodge. I think that's pretty cool. Actually, our son was right. He said, "I bet they did that for marketing reasons." Of course, people want to see yeah, him jump he, he, he and fly, out. and you know, do Even all he that other kind He was upset because that used to be his race course. But actually, when they <laughs> moved the course to this, is actually a very nice course mm -hmm. in the back. Mm -hmm. So. Anyway, now, don't so we have a video, a video on the on the racers? Or did you? Oh, we do. We actually took some video of the local Bear Valley race team getting ready, training for their big race coming. You know, up I don't have it on this next machine. weekend. It's okay. not on this machine. Um, they are meeting. It's it's the Far West USA. All all of the Far West USSA ski teams. Yeah. Are meeting it meeting again at Sierra Summit next weekend. Um, for Fresno. a Super G. And a giant slalom. So one Grace. day it'll be Super G, the next day it'll be giant slalom. And all we should say is, is the locals should be justifiably proud of their local mm -hmm. ski ski club. Ski. Um, it's very, very nice. Because very they nice. actually are the perennial winners in their division. Mm -hmm. The uh, Central Bear Sierra Division, best. Bear Valley, usually does, usually does very well. Mm -hmm. um, several kids in the J4s went to Mammoth last weekend and some local residents did well some Arnold residents did very well They're going next weekend uh, they next, didn't go last weekend as well when was it but they did the J4 fest the 23rd yeah but didn't some of them go to an invitational one um May oh yeah i think it was J3s i, I don't know it okay matter, yeah it was J3s yeah. yeah so the J3s went to uh, which are older kids yeah the 12 13 year old mm -hmm. kids and one of the uh, one of the ones is a um, his first race is an 8th grader from um, Avery Middle School Came in, I believe, in the top five and stuff. He did oh, there, really there's well. actually a local. Huh? Yeah, there's some local wow, kids. Wow, I didn't know that. that. Um, okay. Ben's, uh, ben Gilbert. 
okay. did very, very well. So I think um, we should be justifiably proud of some of the local mm -hmm. local kids did, uh, you know, very fast. Mm -hmm. And there's some fast, fast mm -hmm. kids. Yeah, basically really... our team usually scores first. They they get, How they do it is they give, if you place, they each, each person that places accrues points. So first place accrues like 300 points. Our son... Ten, so he got like eighteen points. But hey, at least he contributed, right? Got a couple points. Anyway. Um, but and then I think Bear Valley team wins every every race. They have the Sierra Summit Ski Team, Badger Pass, um, Dodge, Dodge Ridge, Ridge, and Bear Valley that compete in these. There's four or five races per year. So yeah. So we're going to Sierra Summit and then Yosemite in a couple weeks, right? And last weekend they opened up the ski resort at well one run for them at seven a.m. They had to be there because they had they did high speed training, mm -hmm. uh, high speed uh, super G and stuff training, and they didn't want people coming across mm -hmm. the course when they or, or you know just from the speeds, and some of those kids could just fly, you know, it just Scary. just it's fly, deep. and you think these kids and you think you look at them and you see them just fly down this hill and you think. You think they're older, mm -hmm. and then when you see them outside, they're just like, man, these kids are like they're ten, just kids. you know, little, little tiny. Well, there's things. some young ones, there's some six-year-olds out yeah, there too. They're, they're just fast. Flying. So anyway, it's a lot of fun. So they watch. were training over the weekend for this big race that's coming up, and we do have some video. Maybe we can show that tomorrow night a little bit yeah. about tomorrow night of them training on the Super G, or was it GS? They trained. They did GS training. GS training, yeah. So anyway. <laughs> Can I talk? It's hump day, so it's kind of a slow news day. Go well, ahead, no, talk. it was talk. just, you know, we have the video up of last night that we talked about the uh, Bear Valley Water District. Which we talked a long yeah, you don't time want to talk about. No, go My ahead. My wife doesn't want me to talk go about ahead. that again. I know, that's no, there's fine. all kinds of stuff. Um, and one of the things that was kind of an interesting thing is ORS. Then a, a little bit on a local business note. Uh, ORS, the local... Um, River rafting company is going completely solar, mm -hmm. and this is a very cool thing that they're they're trying to you know go completely so, solar. So anyway, Oars for nearly forty years has been committed to bring a leader in the field of some sustainable travel. Their goal is them to be one of the most environmentally responsible tour operators in the world, but to continually raise the bar and challenge other companies to raise their standards as well. Mm -hmm. Or is the first um, river company in the U.S. to offset all their carbon emissions. Is in their third year of working with Native Energy, you know, the carbon offsets. But the only thing, in an effort to become ever increasingly energy responsible, in 2007, Ors made the decision to go 100% solar. For their warehouse and main operations in Angels Camp and for their warehouse and office in Flagstaff, Arizona, for their Colorado Ripper, River operations for the Grand Canyon. The two new systems are expected to generate over 123,000 kilowatt hours of electricity their first year and every year thereafter, enough to keep eight medium-sized homes supplied with electricity for an entire year. Wow. So this result in reduction of probably 180,000 pounds or 90 tons of greenhouse gases. Okay. So isn't that pretty cool? That is cool. Very cool. That's a very, they're a very neat company. Yeah. Very neat I mean, it's... Uh, Going well. completely mm -hmm. solar. Cool. <laughs> Am I? Are we going to go completely solar? No. We're not? I know you'd like to, but we're not. We're not. We're Today gonna, is can Father we take of the, Little League Day. Can we take the pine tree off grid? <laughs> yeah, sure. Huh? All right. Father of Little on. League Day, whatever that means. The father of, what's it say? We go ahead and read it. Millions of kids throughout the world have spent their summer days playing baseball thanks to a man named Carl E. Stotes. Stotes was born in Williamsport, Pennsylvania on this day in 1910. 29 years later, he found a way for little boys to play at the man's game of baseball. He founded the Little League Baseball Organization, which, which consisted of three teams. Today, each local league may have from four to ten teams. Boys ages 8 to 12 formed the baseball teams that played on a diamond, two-thirds the size of a regulation diamond, and played for six innings. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Wearing rubber cleats and using bats no longer than 33 inches, boys were able to participate in America's favorite, favorite pastime. Girls have been included in Little League since 1974, and championship tournaments are played at the end of the regular season of at least 15 games. The tournaments are held to select the eight regional winners from around the world. In honor of Carl Stotes, each August, the regional winners from the U.S. compete 
in the Little League World Series in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. And we, we have some very active Little League teams here. In, yes, we uh, do. It's very, and the softball yeah. leagues are very yes. popular, the, the girls' softball. Today is Cindy Crawford's birthday. Uh huh. She's actually two years younger than me. Really? Yeah, she's born you in would, 19. You yes. would never know it. You look younger than oh, she is. Yeah. <laughs> Wish. Yeah. <laughs> Should we do weather? Sure, we can All do right. the weather. Okay. All right, and we'll start off with Bear Valley weather because that's where we need the snow the most for the local economy and such. Tonight, mostly cloudy with an 80% chance of snow tomorrow, a 90% chance of snow tomorrow night, a 70% chance on Friday night, uh, in a Friday, 40% Friday night, 70% on Saturday, 90%. Uh oh, my throat's going out. Uh oh. Um, finish? <laughs> yeah. So basically, it looks like in Bear Valley, it's going to snow all week, <laughs> every day through Sunday night, from tonight through Sunday night. We actually got a little bit of snow up here in Arnold today. It wasn't in the forecast, but we did. It didn't really stick too much. Um, for Arnold Sorry. weather, tonight, mostly cloudy. For Thursday, 80% chance of rain and snow mixture. Thursday night, the same, rain and snow mixture. Friday, snow likely. Friday night, chance of snow. Saturday, rain and Saturday night, snow. Sunday snow and Sunday night snow. So it looks like rain and snow throughout the, the week, rest of the week in Arnold as well. Can you talk oh, yet? Go or, ahead, go for ahead. Murphy's, tonight mostly cloudy, low of 36. Thursday, 80% chance of rain, high of 49. Thursday night, 80% chance of rain, low of 36. Friday, 60% chance of showers. Friday night, 40% chance of showers. Saturday, 50% chance of showers. Saturday night, rain. Sunday rain, Sunday night rain. So it's going to rain all week. Snow up in the higher elevations. Angels Camp is the same, basically rain all week. So we're going to get a lot of precipitation this week, it looks like. Very nice, because we It's going to get it. heavy this weekend, I believe. Yeah, it looks like Saturday night. Make sure you carry your chains if you're coming up to the mountain. Make sure you have them in the yes, car Yes, in the with car, you. even if you don't need to use them. They will be checking vehicles. And for our friends in Bangor, Maine. Uh, tonight, you were had 27 degree high for today, a 3 degree low for wow. this evening. Cold. A 23 and 5 degrees for Thursday, Friday 29 and 12, and a, a rather balmy 34 and 16 on Saturday. <laughs> so it was 2 degrees above freezing, huh? That's balmy. Yeah, and it was, you know, rather, <laughs> rather balmy. So, you know, it should be... So hopefully your voice will be back a little better tomorrow. And I apologize because uh, one of the things, I'm running a... Small local newscast is <coughs> the show must the show must go, go on. on. I'm certainly not going to do it by myself. <laughs> the show must go on, no matter how you feel. So exactly. Anyway, we thank you we very much for stopping by. We really do. We should have a fun sponsor for tomorrow night. Yes, we do. And tomorrow night is our weekend entertainment. We edition. get entertainment editions. Yes. So we'll tell you what to do, and uh, you probably won't listen. I won't to listen, us, but, but you yeah. can't be more. Thank too. you very much for stopping by, and we'll see Thanks. you again tomorrow night. Good night, Calvary. Bye -bye.